Uh, the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The righteous, who's the righteous? Those that have received Jesus, those who have received the gift of righteousness. The Bible says there's a gift of righteousness. Um, we don't make ourselves righteous, we receive, we receive the gift, and the gift makes us righteous. Romans 5, 17 tells us that um, those who receive the gift of righteousness um, and the abundance of grace shall reign in life. Bold. We don't run from stuff. We don't retreat from stuff. We don't run from hard conversations we need to have. We don't run from, from, from looking at ourselves, look, even looking at ourselves and say, you need to deal. We don't run from confrontation that can be healthy. Or we don't run from any confrontation. We're bold as a lion. The lion doesn't turn away, doesn't run and hide. I'll deal with this later. Lions doesn't do it. You have something in you right now to say, deal with it. In God, I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What man, what can man do to me? Now, the lion doesn't turn away from another beast. God is saying, you put your trust in me. You won't have to turn away from another man. Amen. There is not a man human on this planet that God wants you to be intimidated by. God doesn't want you, you and me, to be intimidated because if they can intimidate us, they can control us. And there are people who stay in situations, miserable situations. How many of you know pain is inevitable, but misery is optional? But some people stay in a miserable, deplorable, uh, a dying situation all because they're intimidated or they think, I can't do, I can't, it's, I can't do this without them. See, that them has a control on you. God says, I don't want you controlled by anybody but my spirit. When you decide to move beyond your comfort zone, when you decide to move beyond that place of complacency that people that you're around values. See, some people want you to stay in that complacency because it keeps them in their comfort zone. But when you decide to say, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, when you decide to come out, say come out. When you decide to come out, when you decide to do better than where you are now, when you decide, I'm going to the next level, life will test you. Yes. You didn't hear what I said. I said, life will test you. Yes. Yeah, life will test you. It's, it's, it's called life. Yes. When you decide, I'm, I'm going to a new level, life will test you. Yes. You're going to have to deal with rejection. Yes. You're going to have to deal with disappointment. Yes. You're going to have to deal with people laughing behind your back. Yeah, right. That, that, that really, please. You're going to have to deal with all of that. You're going to have to deal with, 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 can I really do this? Life will test you. Are you really, are you really going to stay with that? How positive are you going to be now? Life will test you. And see, and if you don't have boldness, if you're not really rooted in boldness, you'll back away. Life is going to happen. And it's not going to make an announcement when it's going to happen. It's not going to, it's all, not always going to give you, uh, 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 you know, you get a package, you get, waiting on a package, waiting on Gary to bring your package from UPS. And so uh, you want to go and track it. Okay, where's it at? It's, it's out for delivery. Life ain't going to do that. Life is just going to, I'm here. What you going to do with it? Hallelujah, we don't turn away because we tried something before because of previous failures. Well, I tried that. We don't turn away. We keep doing it till it works. You just keep, listen, you may have to do the same thing, but you keep asking until you get some answers. You keep seeking until you find what you're supposed to do. But a bold person doesn't sit back and, and wait for something to happen. Boldness says, I'm going toward this thing, and I don't care. I don't care if somebody else failed it. That's not me. See, there's a part of you you'll never become acquainted with. There's a part of you that will never sit at the table with you if you don't go through. There's a part of you you'll never discover if you keep running. <laughs> ah, if you're born again, you already have it in you. 
it, but but it, it's, it's dormant. It, it becomes alive when it's confronted. See, it's called potential. Amen. Potential, you don't, potential is something that you have that you have not become acquainted with yet. And so you need life to send you a message. You need life to take you into the classroom without your notes. You need life to take you into the testing room without your, without your, your devices. You need life to, to say, okay, open your book, well, close the book, and pull out the pencil. Why? Because there's a part of you you haven't even seen yet. Most of the people that you, you think are awesome, and awesome, and awesome, they're just people that met a part of them they weren't acquainted with before they went through. And you gotta, that's why you got to study to show yourself what? Because, because when you study, he told Joshua, I will never leave you. Nobody will be able to stop you. Why? Because I'm with you. He tells us in Romans, if God be for you, y'all know the scripture? But are you acting that scripture? Are you living that scripture? Or do you fall apart when, when life shows up with a, 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 a pop quiz? He said, nobody will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. So you, you got to get that on the inside of you, and you got you to declare life, this, thank you, thank you. It's a location thing. But you can't whoop me. I'm not running. I'm not backing down. Listen, this may be a temporary inconvenience, but this is not my destiny right here. I'm going to feed on this, and then when I get past it, I'm going to have something I didn't have before you came up. That's the way you got to take on life, man. It, it, it's designed to help you. Now I find out, see, I'm more than a conqueror, right? See, just because you won one time, that means you conquered, but when you keep winning, you become what? More than a conqueror. You become more than a conqueror. My success is not determined by what has happened to me, what others think about me, what they've done to me, what, what, what the color of my hand is, what the texture of my natural is. It has nothing to do with my pedigree. It has nothing to do with my degree. The determining factor on where you go in life, the determining factor how happy, the determining factor on how happy you'll be, the determining factor on how what kind of family you're gonna have, the determining factor if you're gonna be uh, uh, whatever you can plug it in. The determining factor is. You. you.